What's up guys, it's your boy Easy Eddie, and today I have a video about the Fortnite settings and the must-have settings for Fortnite on console. So let's start out with the first tab of the settings. So to start out you see the controller sensitivity X and the controller sensitivity Y. Now I have it at 0 .72, 0 .72. The, and this is this is all just preference. The sensitivity is all preference. So if you you should just try it out. If you think yours is a little low, the higher the better. So the higher you can go where you're still hitting your shots and you're building good, that better. That's just I think that's common sense. And then the controller targeting sensitivity. This means so when I aim in with my gun, it is 0.45 of my regular sensitivity and the same for my scope sensitivity so like if you have 0.5 it's half so it'd be half of your regular sensitivity and then the controller building sensitivity I have mine at 1.45 because that means that when I pull out my builds to build it is 1.45 times my regular sensitivity so I can move around quicker when I'm building so I highly recommend you turn this to above one for sure. Like I'd start at like maybe 1.35, 1.3, test it out, and just really all these sensitivities are preference. Try things out, and if they feel way too high or way too low, you just gotta find a sweet spot and get used to it. Next, let's scroll down and let's get into the control options. Sprint by default, I have off just because I don't think you want that on because otherwise you'll just be sprinting all the time, and I think that'd be kind of bothersome sprint cancels reloading I have that off too because it's nice to be able to reload when you're sprinting then tap to search slash interact this is kind of an underrated one I have this on so what this means is say you're going to open a chest you can just tap X one time and it'll open it like it'll, instead of having to hold it you can tap it and the same for reviving and everything else just tap once and it'll do the whole circle and you won't have to hold it so I recommend having this on but it's really up to you Toggle targeting, I have this off because I don't think it's necessary, and honestly, I don't really know what the heck it means. Then reset building choice, I have this off, but that would also be preference, but I like to have it off because it doesn't really matter to me. <clears throat> Next, aim assist. On console, this is a must-have setting. You have to have aim assist on. This is going to help you shoot so much better, hit your shots so much easier, and edit mode aim assist. This is going to help you edit easier, lock on to things easier. So these two aim assists, both of them you should have on because it's definitely going to help you out. And then turbo building, you definitely want to have this on for building because this is going to make your building go so much faster because you can just hold, say you're placing walls and you're on builder pro, you can just hold the RT button and it'll place the walls as you move your sticks so you don't have to keep tapping to do it. And then turbo delete and create mode, this I don't really know, it's a creative thing, I don't play creative like for this, like to build stuff anyways. So I don't know, that's up to you, I'm assuming you want it on. And then auto material change, I have this on, I think it's a good idea because otherwise I'd forget to change my materials and then oh shit, I'm out of materials, gotta switch, see that'd be a pain in the butt when you're in a fight, so I'd probably put this on, that way you don't have to worry about it. Controller auto run. You can have this on if you want, but I don't have it on. This is, it might be easy if you want to multitask, maybe. And then auto open doors, I have this off because I don't want to do that. Sometimes you might want to close the door so somebody can't come in. Auto pick up weapons, I have off because you don't always want to pick up every weapon. Auto sort consumables to the right, I have this on because I my way I have my loadout sorted. I have it all the way to the right, my like consumables. I've had it like that forever. So this automatically, when you pick up like a med kit, it'll put it to the far right slot. So I think that's helpful. So I have that on. And then, okay, here we go. This is probably the most, this is probably the the, the setting you need the most. This setting right here, <clears throat> Builder Pro, build immediately. Well, first of all, if you're playing Fortnite on console, you need to be playing Builder Pro. Or some sort of custom con controller mapping so you are basically like Builder Pro because this is the fastest way to build and it's the easiest way and building's key in Fortnite nowadays so what you need to have this setting on so when you're in Builder Pro originally say you pull up your wall like you click RT for wall it'll place it or it'll pull it up and then you have to tap it again to place it whereas this makes it where you as soon as you click RT it places the wall wherever you're looking doesn't actually pull it up and then LT the stairs wherever you're looking you don't have to double tap it so that's helpful then controller edit hold time 
I would say definitely put this down as low as it goes to zero, but mine says 0 0.1. I think that might be as low as it can go. This means when you're editing, you don't have to hold the B button or hold whatever button you use to edit, and it'll just do it instantly. Just tap it, then edit quickly. This is editing is becoming key nowadays. So I think you definitely want it. Next, a vibration. I have mine off just because it could mess up your shots. Really, preference. I think I'd turn it off because it feels weird when I have it. Almost like it's making me move my controller and my fingers makes my shot off. Now, next, none of these settings are really matter. Now, let's go to combat controls. Now, I've been hearing sometimes you might be having this issue where you accidentally edit when you're building. Well, that might be if you have B as your edit thing you'll be trying to build you click B to pull out your build but then you're editing so what I recommend is placing is mapping your editing to a different uh, button or such so for example what I have editing as is my right d-pad so let's go build controls as you can see on the left hand side of the screen my right on the d-pad keypad whatever you call it is edit so I can hit that edit and it's not the same as building so I don't get those accidental edits which can be if you're accidentally editing that could be a real pain in the butt when you're in a fight so I'd say you definitely want to remap that so if you're having accidental edits during fights and it's being a pain in the butt for you definitely change your edit keybind to the right d-pad or something else the right d-pad works well for me because I think that's a good idea it works well for me and that should be all if you guys are wondering about how to cross platform play on consoles I would recommend checking out my other video which is should just check for my videos I don't have that many there should be a video how to cross platform play on Xbox it was an issue for me so I solved it and now hopefully I can help you guys well anyways I hope this video got video helped you guys or gave you some pointers for the settings and if you have any questions don't be afraid to comment down below drop a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.